everyone, this is Prophetess Kimberly Hargraves, and I'm excited. We are recording the show for Sunday nights for Harvest Radio. It premieres 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm so excited. We take the gospel of Jesus Christ in South America, Central South America, and some Caribbean islands. Woo! You know, we're impacting lives for the kingdom. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! So God is good. I'm getting ready to go behind the scenes and I'm going to just record the show. So I know God's going to give a right now word for some of you guys. So just be expecting, be expecting, be expecting because God is moving. Hallelujah. So if you want to support the ministry, you can go to my website at Kimberly Hargraves, you know, dot com. And I know God is going to bless you tremendously for sowing into his kingdom. Amen. So just give me a second and we're going to get into this thing. Amen. So I'm, I'm excited. I feel, I feel a move of God. I feel a move of God. So I'm just excited. So I'm just sharing my broadcast behind the scenes right quick. All right. God is good. Hallelujah. So I know a lot of people you're hurting right now. You just uh, need a miracle. God can do miracles. God specializes in miracles. Amen. Hallelujah. So just be expecting. God, I mean, God can turn any situation around. Amen. So let me go ahead and get started. Welcome, everybody. I'm so excited about tonight's broadcast. I know God is going to do something powerful. Amen. A lot of people right now, you're hurting and you're discouraging. You just need God to move in your circumstances. Amen. So listen, a lot of people, you're desperate. You don't know what else to do, but you're just desperate. And like, God, only you can get me out of this. Like, ah, I need change. I, I need a turnaround. I, I just need you to reset my life and just give me a fresh start. And I just... I just want to just forget about the past, forget about the bad breaks, forget about all the discouragement, forget about everything that has happened to me. And I just believe you, Lord God, for the fresh start, for a fresh touch in my life. Is that you? Get ready. I'm going to tell you, take it to a story. You can read along with me, Matthew 20, Matthew 20, verse 29 through 34. All right. And this talks about how Jesus healed two blind men. He healed two blind men. All right, so Jesus and his disciples, they were just leaving Jericho, and many people were following them, you know, but then behold, two blind men, they were sitting by the road, and they heard Jesus was going by, so they shouted, son of David, you know, which stands for Messiah, the Messiah, you know, have mercy on us, listen, these men were, they were blind, they couldn't see nothing, but they had their other senses working for them, so that means they had great hearing, you know, great sense uh smell and you know they were just like hold up i heard of jesus you know i heard he um was the messiah i heard that you know he was our redeemer the one we've been waiting centuries for to redeem this god's people out, out you know up out of something amen i heard that he does miracles you know i heard that he's been opening up the eyes of the blind well hey we're blind so what what better day than get our miracle you know, he's walking by, you know, and in my territory, he's coming by in my midst. Listen to me, people of God. Whenever God is moving, whenever there's a move of God in your area, you, you see something, a, a, an anointing on a man or a woman of God. You need to reach out and, and grab that thing. Amen. So they, they knew God was with Jesus. They knew that he was the Messiah. They knew that the power that was on his life, that anointing on his life, the presence of God was with him. They knew that if they just would have just tapped in and just put a demand on the power of God on his life, they were going to be set up for a miracle. Listen, it's time to put a demand on God. It's time to pull on that mantle, pull on that anointing. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? It's time to say, God, I'm going to cry out even more. Amen. I, I may be in this dark situation. I may not can see where how to get up out of this thing, but I, I'm going to use my voice and I'm going to shout, help God. God, I praise you, God. God, remember me this day, God. God, have mercy upon me, God. Just like the two blind men, they cried and they asked God to have mercy upon them. Right? They were sitting by the roadside. So the people warned them. The blind men, shh, be quiet. Be quiet. Stop screaming out. Son of David, have mercy on us. Be quiet. But, but even when they, well, even when the people told these blind men to be quiet, they shouted even more. Help! Help! Have mercy on me! Listen to me. The enemy has been trying to shut you up, trying to get you frustrated, where you can't even open up your mouth. You need to shout a 
out even more to God. You need to say, God, you're not going to leave me, God, like this, God. God, I'm desperate, God, for a miracle, God. God, you just bless my sister. You just bless the lady down the street. God, you bless the person on my job. God, you bless the person in my church. God, today is my day, God. I'm going to get a miracle. It's time to crowd even more. It's time to crowd even louder. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Don't let the enemy shut your mouth up. Don't let him shut you up. My God. So they crowded even more. They didn't care what people told them to do. They didn't care about people saying, be quiet. No. They said, no. I, I've been blind long enough. I don't want to be like this. Only Jesus can, can change my situation around. Only he can fix this thing. I'm not going to settle like this anymore. I'm not going to accept being blind anymore. No. He's my redeemer. You know, <clears throat> come on now. Jesus, you got to get desperate, people of God. Are you literally going to sit there and just let life pass you by? Are you going to sit there and let the haters and the naysayers say, be quiet. That's not going to ever happen to you. What? You sound foolish. You sound crazy. That could never happen. Are you, really, are you going to let somebody shake your faith? Are you kidding me? Nah, people of God. God wants to do the impossible in your life. He wants to do the impossible in your life. Amen. The blind men, they had an impossibility. They didn't let that stop them from getting a miracle. Amen. They cried out even more. They cried out the more. Do you hear them saying to you? They cried out, say, God, son of David, have mercy on us. Ha, ah, and they got God's attention. Let me tell you something. I want to prophesy and tell you the more you cry out, the more you give God praise, the more God's going to stop and you got his full attention. Amen. So he's like, wow, these men, they hungry for me. Men, they need a miracle. Wow, I, I love their faith. You know, he recognized the faith in them. I, I love their faith. What can I do for you? Jesus stopped to the men. He said, what can I do for you today? They answered, we want to see, Lord. We want to see. Let our eyes be open. Take this blindness away. I'm tired of being like this, God. Jesus felt sorry. He had compassion for the blind men. And he just whoop, touched their eyes and they could see. And then they followed Jesus. That is powerful. That is powerful. Woo, that's powerful. Maybe you, you're blind. Maybe you have a disability. Maybe you have a limitation or a setback. I want to prophesy that you got God's full attention as you cry out, as you praise him, as you go to him in faith. Amen. Because your faith can move mountains. We're told in the word of God to have faith in God. As we have faith in God, then something's going to shift. Something's going to change. Literally, it's going to change. Right? And their faith got them a miracle. Woo, that's amazing, right? That's amazing. I want to prophesy and tell you that your faith in God is getting ready to have a miracle with your name on it. That you got God's full attention and God is pleased with you because of your faith. It's so many times in this word, in the word of God, where somebody come to Jesus, they were hungry, they were broken, they had a situation that was bigger than them, a situation out of their control. And then their faith in Jesus got his attention and he said go your faith has made you well great is your faith than all i've seen in this land and that land listen i want to tell you go your faith has made you well great is your faith amen great faith is going to cause great manifestations in your life that is powerful that is powerful listen you may be discouraged, you may be depressed, you may be broken, you may be sad, you may be suicidal, whatever it is. I I've been there. But at the end of the day, I had faith in God that God was not going to leave me in that situation. And guess what? He didn't leave me in that situation. He pulled me out, somebody. And he could pull you up out too. And the enemies tried to shut my mouth when I felt broken, depressed, suicidal, discouraged. Yeah, he tried to shut me up. He tried to take me up out of this world so I wouldn't walk in my destiny, so I wouldn't walk in my calling, so I wouldn't be on this uh, broadcast today encouraging you guys. But I didn't let that shut me up. I began to cry out even more to God. I got on my face, amen, broken and in pain, with pain in my heart. And I said, God, have mercy on me, God. You're not going to leave me in this situation. <laughs> Woo! And guess what? He didn't leave me in that situation. I had his full attention. What do you want, daughter? I told him exactly what I want. I want you to fix this, God. I want you to do that, God. And he did it. He did it. Give God praise for that. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? That's God. 
listen. No matter how bad it may seem, it could be worse. It could be worse, somebody, right? No matter how bad it may seem, listen. You have no idea how close you are to receiving a breakthrough. You have no idea how close you are to receiving a miracle. You're just this close. And you're literally going to let the enemy shut you up? See, when the two blind men, when they, they were on the side of the road, the people were just like, shh. They said, no. Son of David, have mercy on me. And they even cried out even more. Open up your mouth, people of God. Open up your mouth and cry out even more. I want to decree and declare God is here and is listening to you today. He's hearing your supplications and the prayers and the intercessions that's coming out of your mouth. Some of you didn't even know how to pray and your tears were just prayers itself. But God is looking at your heart because we serve a God that looks at our hearts. He looks at your heart. He's looking at your heart and like, man, I hear the cries of my people's hearts. I got to come see about him. I got to come see about her. So just get ready. Get ready. My God. Maybe this word is uh, doing something to you. I feel somebody crying and weeping. They feel encouraged. And I want to know the Jesus that this lady talking about. I need to get back on fire for God. I need to get back right with God. I need you to touch and agree with me in prayer. Open up your mouth and begin to decree this out your mouth. Begin to proclaim it out your mouth. Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for me and rose again the third day. I make you Lord and Savior of my life. Come into my heart today. Rule there in my heart. In Jesus' name. Listen. I want to welcome you to the body of Christ. You are saved. Being saved is using your faith. It's not a feeling. This is your this is a second chance for somebody. Let's get back right with God. Let's get on fire for God. Let's let's get back right for God, people. Amen. Watch God come through. Watch him come through for you. It's powerful. I need to get you filled with the Holy Spirit. That is your strength. That is your teacher. That is your comforter. He's like a guide and life is going to lead you and guide you into all truth. Because sometimes you don't know. Amen. And it's time for Holy Spirit to have one-on-one -on -one fellowship. Amen. And, you know, I love Holy Spirit. It teaches me so much. So much. Give me so much revelation. I just give God praise, right? So lay hands on your belly right now. Lay hands on your belly. I decree to clear the fire God hit you. You be filled with the Holy Spirit now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That you be filled with Jesus' name. Be filled. Wow. I feel the fire God burning in somebody's belly. It feels good. And just lift your hands up right now. And just say, hallelujah, fill me up, God. Your tongue's going to begin to change. You're going to speak something out your mouth that, yeah, you never felt and never did before. Ah, receive it. Receive it. Receive it in Jesus' name. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. I'm going to welcome to the body of Christ. I give you a big spiritual hug and a realm of the spirit. Just receive it. You know, joy is coming back upon you. You feel clean. You feel refreshed. You feel renewed. You feel like, ah, like, you know, I drink cold water and just, ah, you know, that's how you're feeling right now. It feels good. Yeah, it feels good. Yes. So I'm excited about what God is doing in your life. Listen, be expecting. You know, listen, You, I pray for a financial breakthrough. You may need finances to be released. I pray for that to hit your life. I remember when I first got saved, it's like I had an open portal. I still got it now. I had an open portal as never before. And the Lord showed me that he was God. He showed me that he could provide. I was getting checks from Walmart. You know, I didn't even work at Walmart. Why is Walmart sending me a check in the mail? Just because I serve a supernatural God now, right? And God said, hey, I'm your source. I can make this supernatural happen in your life. Hallelujah. You know, I remember just uh, ah, Jesus just praying for things. And it was just manifest like that. Receiving supernatural. I, I, I do. I have received it now. I have it now. Just having songs from heaven come in my mouth and never heard it before. A new sound that God wanted to do. Amen. To see the supernatural power of God work through me. That I can do things in, in one month. Where would have took somebody a year to do. The Lord did it through me in one month. Come, so, come on somebody. The Lord can accelerate some things in your life. Amen. A lot of people you've been stuck for too long. I speak an acceleration and hit your life. 
and those things that you've been praying for, those things that you've been believing God for, I command them to manifest and accelerate now in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. I feel the power of God. I feel God's presence. Amen. Be expecting. Welcome to a new life. Welcome to a new start. Welcome. Getting saved was one of the best things I have done. See, the enemy tried to take me out for over 10 years ago. But God gave me a new life. He gave me a new life. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? And you can get a new life as well. So be expecting people, God. I love you so much. And you have a blessed day. God bless. Wasn't that powerful? I get so high in God, y'all. Wow, I give God praise. Wow. It's such a sweet, sweet anointing here. Listen. Receive this anointing. Receive it. In Jesus' name. I get so high. God is good, y'all. Be expecting. If you want to bless this ministry, if this ministry is blessing to you, it's like a breath of fresh air, refreshing to you. Hey, you know, go to my website right now, KimberlyHargers.com. Listen. So if I see the day, I'm telling you, this is good fertile ground. I'm telling you, testimonies are coming forth every day. Every day is a testimony. I give God praise for that. Well, Jesus, he's the bomb, right? Oh. All right, people of God, be blessed.